Hey guys, welcome back to Gunny TV and today we're talking about another Remington. This is the third Remington here in a row and this one is a special one. I haven't seen a lot of reviews on this. So when Michael, the owner, showed me this pistol, I had to go through a lot of websites to find out what this really is. And we came across something really interesting. What we found out is that the frame of this gun is not the actual firearm. So it's kind of like the sick, I don't know. God damn, I need to look it up. Uh, let me see. Okay, so it's the six hour P320. So 320, which is, I think I had it in my hands before. You can swap out the grip and the slide and everything and make it from a compact to a racing gun and everything. So you can, you can build everything out of this. So you only have to register one firearm, but you can build any out of it. I don't know if Remington has produced more stuff for this gun so you can do the same, but you see it here. So that's where the ID number is but it's behind, so it's not in the frame. It's like a window that you can look through and it's built in here. So the inside of, of this pistol is the actual firearm and that gives you a lot of opportunities to put stuff around it, right? So what we have on here is something really cool. I haven't seen this. Um, it's a part of a holster, an extension for your light and also, um, clips into this holster this one is from trx which has a t-rex logo i haven't seen it before maybe you have and it's pretty cool so even though this is on here we had an easy time to shoot it it gives you a lot of um surface to put your fingers on which is nice maybe if you have big fingers you have problems getting your fingers in between the light and the grip, but I have little girly fingers, so I can fit in here really fine. And this is a polymer um, striker fire pistol, and it has 18 rounds. So now imagine this, we're from the German army, we use the USP, it's a nine millimeter, not the 45 ACP. The USP in a military version, which is like a little different, and it's called the P8. So P8, is about the same size, but we found out this one is actually thinner and roughly the same length and everything. Plus that, this one is lighter, but... <laughs> three more rounds. And it has it. three more rounds. It has 18 rounds. And I think this grip is way more comfortable. Like if you have ever shot a P8 or a used P, it's basically the same gun. Um, their grip is like that thick and it's more like a square instead of uh, these round surfaces yes. and if you have small hands it's not yeah. for you if you have small hands even for me with with small hands it fits it fits perfectly so and it's also really nice to shoot if you want to come over and and yeah actually, tell something about it do let's see if i can actually remember how to disassemble that bad boy this slide is massive have yeah. you ever seen a gun with a slide that thick? No. So I actually have <laughs> not. And if you go over to like almost any polymer frame pistol, there's no pistol with a massive slide like this. So the weight definitely comes from here, which is awesome. Cause like this gives you a lot of advantages, uh, like compared to other polymer framed light pistols. So this one is not just like, it's not a child's toy, no. let's say this. It's heavy. It's heavy, it's, it's nice to shoot. So, and it's also easy, like it's like the same functionality as most of the known uh, factories. Um, easy disassembly, not many parts. Yeah, and, and way easier to clean. So if you look in here and you see how much space you have, I think it's easier to clean it like is. most of the guns. And everything here, so I like this. Like you have a huge gap in here and everything here is really compromised. So it's like small space that you need, but still look at that beaver tail. That's in here. My gun does not have it. Uh, I mean, the only one that comes close is 1911. Uh, but like, you know, 1911s all have this beaver tail and this gun has it. So there's a lot of pros here that I, I need to say are amazing. And I haven't seen this like, on any other gun yeah and it's 
yeah, as you said, it's it's pretty easy to to um, to disassemble. It's disassemble like, and yeah. Just gotta know how far. I'm to just go too back dumb to do it. No, it's like okay. That. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not that slide. Oh, the first that one. one. So you see, there's another um, gap in there. Gap in there. To, it's kind of like the Berettas who yeah. have that lever. Actually, if you lock like, it back. Oh yeah, almost, if you lock it back, you almost. can almost do it. It's like to the point where you have to kind of lock it back and then you can actually pull that down and that's all you got to do. Make sure there's no magazine in there. Make sure there's no bullets in there because you have to pull the trigger to get the slide off the gun. If you do that with a bullet in there, no, no goody, no, no. That might end badly. Okay. Other than yeah, that, but pretty other easy gun. The beaver tail part, we have another gun coming up that's also mine. Not gonna tell you should which it is. Should surprise you. That, that, should, that surprise should surprise you. you. Um, that has the beaver tail too. Yeah. So stay tuned if you want to see these videos. They're up here because like we're filming all of them today. We shot them all. It's five guns together with Michael and all is here on Peacemaker Range in West Virginia. Okay, if you want to learn more about the RP9, ask us down in the comments or go on the internet and read it. But you, sh you should see all the shooting videos. Just it's do really not, interesting. Just do not give in to all the hate the RP9 no, gets. No. It's a good pistol. Yeah, that's something I really have to say. If you if you if there's anyone hating about this gun, I don't think there's a lot to hate. Yeah, you have to take it for what it is. You don't have to compare it to like most of the other ones. Like people say, yeah, it looks like the PPQ. Yes, it does. It, it has the optics. Like it has the the slide serrations like a PPQ. I owned a PPQ for many years. It was my first gun. I still love it. But I think this yeah. is not compared to a PPQ just because it has slide serrations like it. It's the optical thing. It looks like it. It does. But it, does, it feels completely different. It's a huge gun. PPQ is way smaller. This one is like the size of a Q5. So PPQ Q5. Um, people are comparing it with a Q4 maybe. But that's a compact gun. It's, it's different. And also... What I've read about it is this um, grip is like similar to a Smith & Wesson MP2. Yeah. I don't know. Little, yeah, little maybe softer. it looks like <laughs> it, but I don't think it feels like it. So It's not as aggressive. No, it's not as aggressive. And I think this one stands really for itself. It's something else. I cannot compare it to any other gun that I've known so far. But maybe I'm just dumb and I'm wrong. You decide that. Go into the internet, go into the comments and like, let me know. But go get I, one, shoot it, find out for yourself. Exactly. Find out for yourself. It's a nice gun and it's not that expensive, so you should think about it. Try it out. All right, see you next time. Bye.